Mastering the GMAT, Understanding Quantitative Scoring. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of the GMAT, the quantitative section. We will especially focus on how this section is scored, which is crucial knowledge if you're aiming for that top score. Let's unravel the mysteries of the quantitative scoring together. The quantitative section of the GMAT tests your skills in mathematics and analytical reasoning. It comprises two types of questions. 1. Problem solving. 2. Data sufficiency. Both types of questions evaluate your ability to analyze a given situation, recognize underlying patterns, and draw conclusions. While mastering the content is essential, understanding the scoring can give you an extra edge. What makes the GMAT unique is its adaptive nature. This means the difficulty of the questions you face is determined by your previous answers. Answer a question correctly, and the next one might be slightly harder. Miss it, and the next one might be easier. This adaptive system is the foundation for your score. It's not just about the number of questions you answer correctly, but also about the difficulty level of those questions. The quantitative section score ranges between 6 and 51. But remember, this isn't about the number of questions you get right. Here's a breakdown. Your initial questions are of medium difficulty. Your score goes up with each harder question you answer correctly. Answering easier questions correctly will still increase your score, but not as dramatically. It's crucial to answer the first questions accurately, as they set the tone for the difficulty level you'll encounter. However, avoid spending too much time on a single question. Every question is important, and you don't want to rush through the last ones because of time constraints. While you get a raw score between 6 and 51, business schools often look at percentiles. This compares your performance with others. For instance, a 90th percentile score means you performed better than 90% of the test takers. Even if you get the same raw score twice, your percentile can change, depending on how others perform. So, always strive for your personal best and keep the bigger picture in mind. Understanding the quantitative scoring of the GMAT can be a game changer in your preparation. Remember, it's not just about how many you get right, but which ones you get right. Best of luck with your GMAT journey, and we hope this video helps you inch closer to your dream score. See you in the next one.